Hello friends, it's so good to see you again. This is Miss Jennifer at Brom, and we're here to do some afternoon art. Maybe it's morning, maybe it's afternoon, or even evening when you're watching this. But this week we are going to be studying the artist Edvard Munch. Many of you are familiar with his painting The Scream, but I wanted to do something a little happier and brighter from his collection. And so today we're going to do a sun. This is based on his mural, The Sun, which is as, at Oslo University. And we are going to do a little bit of a smaller version of it here today. We're not gonna make a huge mural, but we'll use some crayons or oil pastels and washable or water-based markers today. Hopefully you have those supplies along with some medium or heavyweight paper. So let's get started. Okay, so today we are going to do a drawing and painting based on Edvard Munch's The Sun. This is one of his more cheerful paintings. You might also be familiar with his painting The Scream. He painted a lot of paintings all about his emotions and Today, I thought we could do one of his happier paintings. Here are a couple versions that I've done. This one is on a nice heavy watercolor paper. This version is on just regular printer or copier paper. So you can see how it'll work with either type of paper. It'll just give you a slightly different effect. All right, so today I'm gonna work with kind of a medium weight watercolor paper, student grade. I'm going to need some regular crayons, some washable markers, a cup of water, and a paintbrush. And that's it. So I'm going to get my copy of The Sun and put it down here in front of me while I'm working to refer to. If you don't have um, a computer that you can pull it up on the screen or a color printer to print it out, you can still follow along with me. I'm gonna start with a blue crayon and I'm going to make my horizon line right across the middle of my paper. I'm gonna draw light until I know it's right. Here I go, nice and straight across the paper. Next, I'm going to draw the rocks. So here was our horizon. Here are our rocks. They're kind of a U shape that curves up at the ends. Let's see if we can do that. It's going to overlap the horizon, come down and back up like that. There's also a bit of grass here. And those are the basic shapes for our painting today. Next, I want to start to draw and color the sun. I'm going to get out my crayons and I need a white crayon for this project. So if you don't have one ready, go ahead and pause and go see if you can find a white crayon. If you don't have one, a regular yellow would work too. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my sun. Now it's a little hard to see the white on your paper, so you could start by making your sun with the yellow crayon, an outline, and then I'm going to fill it in with a white crayon. You might say, well, why are you coloring white crayon on white paper? The reason is this. When we do our painting step later, the white crayon on the paper is going to keep the paint from sticking. Now I'm going to start making some diagonal lines radiating out from the sun. I'm going to do mine in yellow so you can see them. You could start with yellow or white or any color. There's going to be a few coming down here toward the bottom. All these lines are radiating out from the center of the page. Mostly diagonal lines. So I made some yellow. Now I'm going back with some white. I'm 
I'm also going to do some circular kind of halo shapes around my sun. I'm going to make two. You can make as many as you'd like. I'm going to use some white to do those as well. And then I'm going to do a few more colorful rays coming out from the sun. They may not go up and down the whole line. They might be just kind of here and there. And how about some red and orange as well? I think this painting is going to turn out even more colorful than Edvard Munch's painting. You can use your imagination and use whatever colors you want in your painting. Let's just make lots of radiating lines coming out from our sun shape. I think that looks good. I'm going to even put a few green shapes. This is going to be super colorful. What do you think? Is this a sunrise or is this a sunset? I'll let you decide. If you live somewhere on the east coast of the United States, this would be the sunrise because the sun comes up over the ocean. If you live on the west coast of the United States, this might be the sunset. Or maybe you're watching from somewhere else altogether. Okay, I'm going to color just a few more things. In the painting, there's a little greenhouse right here. So I'm going to draw a house shape with some windows and a chimney. And I'm going to fill in a little of my grass down here. It's kind of like a beach or a little field down near the ocean. I'm also going to color a little bit of the rocks, some of the darker areas. Now you don't have to get very specific with your coloring and painting today because we are going to do something really special with our washable markers. It's kind of a magical way to use the markers. We're going to paint with water over top of our marker drawings that we do. So I'm almost finished with my rocks. I'm just kind of giving them more outlines and some shadows and shapes. In the painting, his rocks have some very colorful surfaces, so I'm going to put a little bit more color in here as well. Now, I'm not going to color the whole drawing with crayon because we need to save some space on our paper to do that magic marker painting. And that's going to come next. I'm going to start coloring my sky with blue. I still want to keep my lines radiating out from the sun. And you see I'm not coloring everything a solid blue. You can see where the marker doesn't really stick if I pressed hard with my crayons earlier. I'm kind of just zigzagging in some color, not too much. I'm going to use some darker blues near the edges and keep my colors lighter here toward the middle. I'm also going to color the water 
below my horizon line. I meant to color part of the reflections on the water with my white crayon. I'll go back and do that now to keep that nice and white. Remember, I'm using lighter colors toward the sun, darker colors around the edges. And let's get some purple out here around the edges. Okay, I've got a lot of color radiating out from my sun. Now it's time for the magic part. I'm just going to take a regular paintbrush and water. Starting from the middle of my drawing, I'm going to start brushing the water. And it's going to make my colors bleed and blend together and it'll look more like a painting and less like a marker drawing. But anywhere that I use the crayons and pressed hard enough, the crayons will still show through. But the crayon marks won't smear like my marker marks are smearing and smudging and becoming more like paint. Keep using the radial pattern as you paint your sunrise or sunset. The more water you use, the more the colors in the inks of the marker should blend together. If you're using a very thin paper, try not to scrub over the same place too many times because that will tear a hole in your paper. But if you're careful, it'll work just fine. What do you think? Nice and bright and cheerful even brighter than Edvard Monk's The Sun. That's it for today. Keep creating, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.